So I thought I'd uh, make a little video today uh, about conditioning. So as you know, we run the rider confidence course here, and this is one of the horses we use, this is Niagara. And when we get people onto the horses, I go and get the mounting block, because we're nice like that. I get this nice big mounting block and I put it down. And as I'm putting the mounting block down, I start to hear all these funny sounds. Ah! Oh, oh, uh, um, oh, hold on a minute. She's put the mountain clock down on the wrong side. Why is it the wrong side? Why is that the wrong side? And I asked the students, so we've usually got a group of six standing here, and they say it just is. I'm just told it's the wrong side. Um, my instructor told me that. I've learned that from uh, right from the beginning of riding. Um, but they don't actually know why. So I would honestly say 95% of our students, that's a fair comment, 95% don't know why they put the mountain block and get on from the left, which they call the right side, just to make that confusing. So this is the side they want to get on, right? And this is the left side, and in their brain, the, let's use an easier word, the cool side. Um, so I asked them, okay then, why have you been taught to get on from the left? And like I'm just saying, 95% of the people don't know. So I tell them, okay, this is really... Get off! Stop it! I'm trying to film. You're pulling the camera all over the place. So, 95% <laughs> of people don't know. And, um, and I tell them, and actually this is hundreds of years old getting on this side. It's from cavalry. So it's from wearing your sword. So when you wear a sword, your sword is on the left. So you can easily, <laughs> easily get on your horse, your sword is on the left, and it's going to be easy to mount up. And... Mount up, nice and easily, and my sword is not hitting the horse. Now, do you know why people have their sword on the left-hand side? Well, that's because most people were right-handed. So this is just so it's very easy to draw out with my right hand and I'm ready to use my sword. So even if I was left-handed, I would still be trained to use my horse sword with my right hand and pull it out of my scabbard um, with my right hand on my left hip, on my left hip. Okay, dismount. I'm gonna do a little hop because I can just... Mountain block is now on the other side. I'm not going to call this the wrong side because it's not the wrong side. So as you can see, as I'm getting up, the sword is now between me and the horse. So when I put my foot in the stirrup, my sword is now banging onto the horse. Can you see that? Just about. <laughs> banging onto his bum here and it makes it very awkward to get onto the horse. So we're not going to do that. I'm back on the left side, which is not the wrong side or the right side, it's just the left side, which we started to do, just to reiterate, from wearing swords, cavalry, hundreds of years ago. It's just been the tradition to do that. But the question is, how many times do you guys ride with your sword on a daily basis, right? Now, the answer is, I get from most people, is not at all, yeah? I actually do sometimes, so I'm allowed to get on this side and not make a fuss about it. But most people don't know why they're doing any of it. So when you first back a horse, when you get a fresh horse, and this horse is, say, I don't know, three, four, five years old, whatever age you're backing a horse at, and we first approach that horse, because we've been conditioned to approach from the left because of our sword, we put the saddle pad on for the first time, we put our halter on for the first time, we put our bridle on, we do everything here on this side, doing up the buckles, everything. And when we continuously do this, so every time I get on my horse, I approach from the left, I put the rug on from the left, everything I'm doing, I'm doing it from the left. The horse starts to learn that this is what happens. The human approaches me always from the left. But if I just done and mixed it up all the time, and I have done getting on from the the right hand side to the other side, this side, uh, mix it up, put my halter on from this side, whatever yeah i just made that really really normal put my rug on from that side let's say i know the buckles are on this side again that's from using your sword 
Um, but it would train the horse and me that this stuff is all really, really normal, okay? So because when I go out on a hack leg, say, and something's broken, let's say, um, I don't know, my uh, stirrup hanger here snapped or the buckle here, something, or um, I get off my horse in the woods and the only way I can get back on without my mountain block is to use that piece of wood there, there's some logs there or there's a gate or a fence. If I'm trained to get on the horse whichever side I want to and the horse is used to that, then that makes me feel more confident and my horse feel more confident because we're not limiting ourselves, we're not restricting ourselves, we're saying, look, I can get on left, right, leave frog on the bum, <laughs> on the net, whatever, you get my point. So I'm not restricting myself to this is the only side I can possibly get on. But let's think about other nations around the world. Let's think of horsemanship so much wider in the big wide world. So a lot of, um, we're gonna call them Native Americans, um, never rode with swords, okay, that didn't happen. So a lot of them get on on this side because it hasn't been drilled into them from cavalry that we're wearing our sword that we have to get on this side. So I really like to think about that and think about different cultures, horse people around the world um, and how they mount their horse, dismount their horse. I mean, again, we're talking leg over the front, leg over the back, all that stuff. But let's mix it up. Let's get trained. Let's train the horses. Let's build our confidence that, and not limit ourselves that we can do whatever we want to do. It's all good. But the day I'm wearing my sword, I'm going to mount from the left. Thanks for listening.